when Harriet died for 2006, he aged now 175. Wow, 175. Well, me na no surprise. Harriet not be person. Now thought is we day for zoo for Australia. If we compare Harriet's life with our own, we could talk say Harriet live a very long life. But if you compare Harriet's life with other living things we God make, well, Harriet's life no evolution anyway. For example, some animal where they live for water don't live for more than four hundred years. Some trees, like bisokum pine and giant sequoia, don't live for thousands of, of years. But why? Why people will be king over all these things? No, they live past 80 or 90 years. If we live to 85 years, well, the advert where we go see now celebration of life. Celebrate waiting. Waiting with the celebrate. Well, you fit live forever. You go live forever. This one a question where we go answer for this talk. But first, may we see evidence we should say Jehovah no make us to live just a short life and die. In fact, God make us to live forever. For Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, we read say God make us in image. How? Because God give us the ability to show love, justice, wisdom. And because God live forever, he give us that desire to live forever. May we see how the book of Ecclesiastes talk come. For the book of Ecclesiastes chapter, 11 verse, uh, chapter 3 verse 11, I believe it happened to Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. If you not read there, the book say, he has made everything beautiful in its time. He has even put eternity in their heart. Yes. Now the point we want to make be that. He don't put eternity in our heart. He don't give us the desire to live. No matter how person old rich. No matter how person sick rich. He no one die. He won't try everything possible. Make it continue to live. If you see person where maybe because of sickness, he talks, say, life don't tire him. Well, not lie. Uh, not because of sickness or because of that, not the problem of the, of the thing where uh, they affect him. Now, we can talk, say, life don't tire him. If you see solution to a problem, he go choose life. The book of Genesis also gives us another reason to believe, say, God make us to live forever. Maybe say until for the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. God's word talks say, Then God talks say, Make we make man for our image, to be like us, and make it day in charge of this fish for sea, the things where they fly for up, the animal where they stay with people, and all the animals where they creep for ground, and make it day in charge of the whole earth. Now, after God make all these things, how God himself see them? Verse 31 say, God see everything where he don't make, and look, he really good. He really good. Now, the point today for verse, 27, verse 28, may, not, uh, may we read together verse 28 now. The book, book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 28 say, God bless them, and he tell them, say, make una bomb picking them, and make una plenty, make una fill this earth, and they control everything for this earth, the fish for river, the bird for up, and every animal for the earth, I don't put them for una hand. Then, after some time, make una die. Now, so that please talk, no, let me put that last one. God wants Adam and Eve, and Eve to live forever. He wants them to enjoy life forever. How God of love will give us the desire 
to live forever and at the same time no one wants to live forever that don't make sense now no Adam and live for uh, and Eve for live forever if to say they pass the test of obedience to their father Jehovah but they fail the test Jehovah give Adam the command make them no shop one of the fruit where they for the garden but Adam and Eve decide to uh, say they no go obey their God and God drive them command for that garden after some time they die but before they die they born children now waiting papa get nine children they inherit it no be so now waiting adam get for us to inherit book of romans chapter 5 verse 12 talk maybe we we'll read them romans chapter 5 verse 12 Romans chapter 5, verse 12. It say, Now from one man sin entered this world, and sin caused death. Now it make everybody they die because they don't sin. So Adam gives sin and death to his children. Now what do we hear it be that? Sin and death. Remember, what did God get for mind when he created Adam and Eve? He want them, make them enjoy life forever. He want them to, uh, to make that garden big more and more until they feed the whole earth and continue to live forever. Now, what did God get for mind be that? Now that Adam don't lose everlasting life, it means, say, what did God get for mind for that beginning? Don't change? No. How we take no? Maybe we see them for Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. Isaiah 55. Verse 11. Fifty-five, verse 11, say, So my word, where it come out from my mouth, go happen. It no go go back to me, where it never happen. But it must do what I want them, and it must succeed for the thing where I send them. So we see now, say, God say, everything will come for a mind, will come for a mouth. No go go back to, it, uh, to him unless he fulfill. So what did God get for mind? Now for people to live forever on this earth. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10, for there God say, now the thing where I decide go happen, and anything where I like I go do. God like made this earth become paradise. He won't make this earth fill with people. We they obey him, we will continue to live forever. He won't make we live forever. But how it go day possible for people, for person, we get sin for body to live forever? Science people, they don't try to stop make people they grow old. They don't try, well, well, yes, they don't try. But they no feel give people everlasting life. Solution for everlasting life, you know, they person hand. Why? Because we know they perfect. So how we go do them? Since we don't feel help ourselves, God do something special. God don't give us plenty gift, and the best gift we God don't give us now be the ransom. The ransom that the thing where Jehovah used so that we go free from sin. The ransom where they go pay must be the same value. The same value, like the one where Adam lose. Nobody fit ever pay for the perfect life where Adam lose. Why? Because we know they're perfect. We be like person waiting for prison. What they tell a fellow prisoner, say, don't worry. I go make sure say you come up for this prison. Well, now if you believe that kind of person, no, because all of us did for, uh, for, for the prison. But what of if the person where they made the promise did for our side? I say, don't worry. I will make sure say you go out from this prison. We'll get some hope, not be so. Yes, we'll get the hope that we feel come out from this prison. So Jehovah makes sure say we get out of this problem where we uh, where we did so. Uh, we Jehovah don't give us the ransom. And now see how the book of John, John chapter three verse sixteen put them. I mean we read together John chapter three verse sixteen. John three sixteen. 
Bible say, God really loved this world. So he sent the only special son where he make by himself. So that everybody will continue to get faith for him. No go die. But he go get life where no go end. So Jehovah sent his special son, Jesus, make it come to this earth. Jesus no get sin for body. So he used his perfect life to pay for the ransom. Now this perfect life go feel give us life when no go end. But how Jesus say pay the ransom? It happened when the enemy killed him. And three days after, God raised him up from the, uh, from, from the dead. And some days later, he go to heaven. And when he reached heaven, he gave the value, the value of this ransom to him, Papa, to pay for the life with Adam don't, uh, don't lose. So we thank Jehovah well, well for this final arrangement. We also thank Jesus Christ because he agreed to come, to come and die for our sin, to pay for the thing we Adam lose. We thank these two persons well, well. Because of the ransom, plenty of people go live forever for this earth, just as God one time from the beginning. Millions of people go enjoy life here on earth. God go bring billions of people who don't die back to life. Yes, those who don't die too, they go benefit for this ransom. They go live forever on this earth. So how life go be for God's kingdom? Bible mentioned many things where God, where the kingdom of God go do for us. But maybe mention just some of them. For the future, God go end all the problem where they cause problem for us today, where they cause wala for us today. God go make sure say all those problems will come up for this world. Uh, one of these problems now, wicked people. Wicked people. Before, uh, before now, only rich people, people will get money where, where they fear, may they not kidnap them. But today, today don't change. Not be only people will get money, they fear now. Even people where they poor, where, where they, they, they fear. To travel for a road, now big problem. Just think of the time where wicked people and wicked things, where did they do? No good day for this world again. Maybe we read that for Psalm 37, verse 10. Psalm 37, verse 10. I mean, I open the Bible to Psalm 37. We want to read verse 10. Say, it remains small time and wicked people no good day again. You go check the place where then they before, and you no go see them. So who go replace the wicked people? Verse 11 say, but God go give humble people the earth, and they go happy well, well, because peace go day everywhere. Then verse 29. Now righteous people go stay for this earth, and then go stay inside forever. So, wicked people no go day. Humble people and righteous people, they go stay for this earth forever. The question be, who be humble and righteous people? Well, there be people who learn and obey Jehovah. People will love and do what God wants. Which other bad thing no go day for God's kingdom? As that 33 verse 24 say, nobody go, day, uh, go talk say, I the sick. Yes, nobody go get body with some parts, no day, or some parts, no they work well. Instead, everybody go enjoy better body, then go day young again. Think of the world where nobody go suffer for heart problem, no cancer, no malaria, no COVID, no more doctors, no more nurses, no more mortuary or graveyard. No more police. No more key for doors or security alarm. Now waiting the kingdom of God will do for us be that. Now waiting the day for God might be that. And we, they shall say it will do it for us. How would for be if all the money we government they use to buy equipment of war that they use this money to care and feed people where, where, uh, where, they, hung, um, where they poor. 
See what in Psalm 46, verse, verse 9, tell us about this. Psalm 46, verse 9. If they end all war for the whole earth, if they break the bow and scatter the spear, if they use fire, burn the wagon, where that they use for fight. Yes, all the equipment, all the things where they use to fight, God go change them, God go burn them, God go make sure say they use them for the thing where go benefit people. Instead of war, Psalm 72. Verse 16 also tell us what he go replace the team where they fight, uh, take fight to war. Maybe we now turn to uh, Psalm 46, Psalm 72, verse 16. Psalm 72, verse 16. He say, For uh, food go plenty for everywhere for the earth. It go plenty so it go they throw away for on top mountain. Fruit go grow plenty as it they do for Lebanon. And for everywhere, people go they fresh. Like plant for ground. We look forward to see this kind of thing for God's kingdom. We day sure say God go fulfill in promise. How life go be when all bad conditions come up for this world? It's no day easy to know what in bad conditions don't do for us. For example, people where they live for where they, they near where they, they throw away their tea, they know they hear smell again. No, because their body don't, don't master them. They don't take when they, they hear smell, they hear bad, bad odor. And so they don't feel smell them again. People, where they live, where uh, near market, noise, no, they disturb them, them again because they don't take where they, they hear noise. So noise is not nothing for them. Noise no not disturb them anymore. The same way, we don't they live with bad conditions. Since they're born us, bad conditions don't master us. But not bad thing be that. But when God take away all bad condition, it will be a very big relief for all of us. We go happy well, well. Now, what did God get for me be that? And I'm waiting God will do be that. This is no doubt things that God will do for us. Everlasting life, good, sweet, well, well. We will get all chance to learn about all the things we God don't make. We go travel. We go learn new things and make better friends forever. Think of how we go be happy when we meet our grandpapa, we don't die. When God go bring them back to life again, we go be happy to welcome them back. The best thing we go do now say we go continue to learn about Jehovah and learn many good things about him. Now, what if we don't learn for, for this talk? We don't learn, say, God go make people live forever. He put everlasting life. He put the desire to live forever in our hearts. Nobody won't die. No matter how happens to grow old rich, no matter how happens to seek rich, nobody won't die. Now, what did God get for mine for Adam and Eve be that when he, he created them? But Adam and Eve, they choose to disobey God, then throw away that precious gift. Not only for themselves, but for all of us, including you and me. And since living forever, now what did God get for mind? Nothing go change them. Nothing. Not even Satan. Not even a wicked world go change them. God don't promise many good things we go do for us in the future. Jehovah and his son don't make it possible for us to live forever. He don't promise for us, for, for, for what the Bible, what he go do in the future. He don't promise or say we feel live forever. But the question now, you go live forever. Whether we go live forever or not, depend on us. Now, each person go decide. Now, each person go choose whether he go accept the thing where God and Jesus don't do for us to live forever. One thing we must do for, to live forever, do for John 17, verse 3. I mean, maybe we read this place also. John 17, verse 3. John 17, verse 3, say, for them to get everlasting life, they must know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, where you don't send. Yes, we must put faith. We must put faith for the death of Jesus Christ. What do you mean to put faith? 
you know, everlasting life now gift. And for gift to reach us, we must stretch our hand to collect the gift. We must do something to get everlasting life. We must learn how God wants us to live and do it. Pray to God for forgiveness and get clear mind. Do everything where you feel do to learn about what will give you everlasting life. The question again now, you feel live forever, you go live forever, Now do well for that song. We did happy well well to hear say people they come to marry. And I'm making sweet us because the title of our watch our study be People Will Just Marry. Make the worship of Jehovah be number one thing for our life. And I'm from Psalm 28 verse 7, then take them from where it says, Jehovah and my power. I go trust them with all my heart. So what do you want to learn from our Watchtower study for this week? This Watchtower study go help us see, say, some decision where we they make will affect us now. And it goes to affect the time where we get to the do worship of the over. And also, this article help us see, say, those who are just married, the decision where they feel make go affect the rest of their life. This article also go help us see, say, servant of Jehovah in the past, even for this our time, don't make good decisions where make them enjoy their marriage and may help them get time to take serve Jehovah. So at the end of the study, we go take this review question to remind ourselves what we don't learn. And I'll be saying, what did you learn about why it's good to trust the over from Prophet Isaiah and his wife, Priscilla and Aquila, Apostle Peter and his wife? As we just enjoy the song where we sing now, we are day happy to see when two people come together, where they come marry. But wait till you they plan to marry or you just marry, or you don't take where you marry, we did sure say everybody where you won't marry or where you don't marry won't enjoy in life. But as we the happy, say people they get married, we they get married, they will not forget, say problem day will be say we need to make decision. And the truth be say the husband and wife, when this problem come, the way they take handle the problem go affect how they go they happy in their marriage. And not just for the moment, but for many years. But we they happy say, if we make better decision, if we follow the fine, fine instruction and advice where the Bible they give us. And waiting be one of these fine advice where the Bible give us, where we help us, I beg, bring your Bible, may we turn on to Psalm 37, verse 3 and 4. Psalm 37, verse 3 and 4, there the Bible talk, say, Trust in Jehovah and do what is good. Reside on the earth and act with faithfulness. Find exquisite delight in Jehovah and he will grant you the desire of your heart. So the first thing we husband and wife need to do now to trust Jehovah. If they trust the over before they make decision, it will help them. And if not to put the worship of Jehovah be number one, it will answer their prayer. And the thing that they won't do for them, it will help them with their feet doing. So now better advice, we husband and wife feel follow with Jehovah give. But if they go choose to do the opposite, now problem will and we no one face that kind of thing way they happen around us today. So we go learn, find, find an example of those who don't put trust in Jehovah and now Jehovah they help them. 
But may we wait. What it be the problem where people where a newly marry or where just marry one face? As people they happy for them, some people, if it be the papa or the mama or their friends, they get different things for mind. What it be that? They feel they ask them, as we now one marry, maybe now born quick quick. We now need to get fine fine house, buy plenty things, get house so that we now go do like other people from our area. They do. Now the problem with those we newly married, they face be this. We know say you know easy. Whether we marry or not, we need to care for ourselves. We need to buy things where we need. We need to chop. And when we get family, we need to do more work so that we feel get enough to care for them. But the point be say, how we take the approach this matter go determine if we trust the over or not. If you see the picture for this article, the first one there, we see when husband and wife, what then they discuss. And we see for table, say paper plenty. Maybe now the bill, <coughs> sorry, maybe now the bill of waiting they don't buy, waiting they won't buy, and now they go take pay them. And if you see the face of the husband, now stress full on. And think on. If husband and wife put all their power and time for work, time will remain to serve the over, to read Bible, to do personal study, even to do family worship, you go there, we see the wall away if he come. And to show, say, if he make different decisions, we go please the over. He good, may we still learn from those where they won't follow everything they happen around them and which problem they get. We get this family, husband and wife, where their name be Klaus and Melissa. This one, they just marry newly, and they get money and property. And they need to work so that they go feel maintain this way they don't get. But waiting their contour to show, say, they're not really happy. Klaus talks, say, we really get plenty of things, even past waiting we need, but we don't get any plan to do more for Jehovah. But to talk through, Life no easy for us and our social stress with the face. If now so it be for you, make you no know, think too much. We will consider some fun example from the Bible where if he help you. And one of such we will consider now King Jehoshaphat. This King Jehoshaphat, he get plenty of work na, as a king for Israel. And as they protect the people, they care for them. Because of the enemy way they are around, you need to get plenty of army where you go fight to protect the nation of Israel. And you need to get plenty, more than one million, one round sixty thousand. Imagine the work we go take to care for them. But one time problem come come. Some king for an area like Ammon, Moab, and Syria. They gather together to fight with them. If now you be Jehoshaphat, what you go do? See the advice way help them to take solve the problem, and now Jehovah to help them too. Please, may we open our Bible to Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, and see the advice where Jehovah give, where he follow, where he help them. Proverbs chapter 3, 3, verse 5 and 6. There the Bible says, Trust in Jehovah with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, take notice of him, and he will make your path straight. How can Jehoshaphat follow this fine advice we do for Bible? When this world are come, he go pray to Jehovah because he trusts in a Jehovah if he help him. What can not happen? Jehovah sent in prophet Jaziel make good tell and say, as it don't happen, no fight. Just stand. 
and see how Jehovah go fight for you. But true, true. When all these people don't gather army, but they don't ready to fight for them. He grew follow the advice which Jehovah had given through him prophet. Maybe open to Second Chronicles. There we go read Second Chronicles chapter twenty. We go read verse twenty B to twenty three. Second Chronicles chapter twenty verse 20b to 23. Now, Jehovah they tell him, people, say, Make you not hear me, O Judah, and you not wait stay for Jerusalem. Get faith for Jehovah, you not God, so that you not go, you not go shake. Get faith for your prophet, and you not go succeed. When then they sing praises with joy, Jehovah confused the mind of the men of Ammon, Moab, and those where they the mountain side of Seir, where come attack Judah, and they kill each other. So Ammon men and Moab men came attack the people where they stay the mountain side of Seir to destroy and kill them. And when they destroy the people where they say Seir finish, they come destroy each other. Just think of them. If Jehoshaphat the won't follow waiting they happen around them, waiting for do. Now to go gather army, go gather horse, go gather sword, they could go fight. But waiting do, he sing praises to Jehovah, they stand and Jehovah fight for them. So waiting we feel learn from Jehoshaphat. One May we not trust ourselves. May we trust the over. And when problem come, may we pray to the over. May we read the Bible and the publication where the organization don't produce. May we make research and may we follow waiting Bible talk. Another point be say, may we know they follow waiting day normal around us. We know waiting day normal for people now to get property to get plenty of money, get fine, fine things. The things that won't go fix solve their problem. But Joshua no do like that. So sometimes, if we follow the advice on the Bible, if you know make sense to people around us, because we make different decisions where they no go feel make, because they no trust the over. Now, fine point where we learn from Joshua be that. And if you make this good decision, Put the worship of Jehovah as number one for our life. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Go fulfill two for our life. There Jehovah promised, he no go leave us or abandon us. Which another Bible account we feel learn from? We get Isaiah and his wife. They too put the service of Jehovah as number one thing for their life. He clearly said they do this because the Bible call Isaiah prophet and he called his wife prophetess. So now, better example where we fit follow be that. Another thing we say when husband and wife they study the Bible, then go see waiting they happen to show say Bible talk waiting we need to do for our time. And if they think on oh, how this thing they fulfill. They too go, they think, what did they feel do to be part of this way they happen around us so that they go put the worship of Jehovah first. For Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, we see there say, the preaching of the good news, you go do them for this time. So if husband and wife study and know say this thing they happen for this our time, you go move them to work hard to put their power so that they go feel do their part in putting Jehovah's worship first. The next picture for the article here shows how husband and wife were just married. They make research, study Bible, and see how it takes the happen. They fulfill in their life. And if you see by the side of the table, by the right hand side of the husband, you see the book. Pure worship of Jehovah, 
restore at last. If we study chapter 6, 7, and 19, as this couple they do, we go see how the prophecy they happen for our time. And waiting the over one may we do. And this one go feel move us. May we work hard to do our part so that we go get more time to put the worship of Jehovah as number one in our life. In a fine example, with this husband and wife set for us. Which another example will you follow for Bible? We have Priscilla and Aquila. This one too, put the kingdom first for their life. We think show say they put the kingdom first in their life. Now problem, now I pursue them come Corinth. But when they come reach Corinth, what did they come do? They sit down with the problem and think how they go begin gather things so that their life go better pass where they did before. Apostle Paul, where he follows stay with them, he get this fine report where he make about them to show say whether they really put the worship of Jehovah first. That's why the problem we then get. Maybe we open our Bible again to Romans chapter. 16. For that Romans chapter 16, we go read verse 3 and 4. The Apostle Paul makes this report, says, Greet Prisca and Aquila. They work together with me for Christ Jesus. They don't risk their life because of me. All the congregation for different, different countries, see they thank them. No be only me. We see what they do here. They follow apostles to Paul. Go preach, not just in their area, but different, different country. They know allow the problem where they get, where they pursue them, come current, tie them down. They push that one aside. They put body for the worship of the over. And we know, say, that one will really make them happy. As are the couple, as they busy to do Jehovah's work, Jehovah will bless them. For this our time, many people too don't follow that kind of example. We get one experience here from the husband and wife will be Russell and Elizabeth. So say marriage people, even for our time with the problem we did, we feel put the kingdom interest first for our life. Waiting then talk. Russell talk say before we marry. We talk about what we won't do for Jehovah. Elizabeth talks, say, we talk about them so that when we won't make other decisions later, we go make sure, say, it no affect our worship, our decision to do more for Jehovah. Which can't be the result. Because of the decision where they don't make, this will give them opportunity to give them out so that when opportunity comes for them, to go Macronesia to preach, they did there. They get time to go assist where they need more poor preacher for the preaching of the good news. The next picture there shows us how we feel doing. For that picture, we see the husband and wife, they really plan now. For the top, they write month, which they won't do, and even each day of the month, they write what they won't do so that they will give more time to the worship of Jehovah. Nobody say they just wake up, so okay, we day free today. What we go do? No, they plan now so that as the days they come, they know what they won't do tomorrow and next. Now, find an example where they give us today too that we too feel plan to do more for Jehovah. We go decide now. Nobody say it will just happen. And another thing where they do be say they make their life simple so that they go there free to do more for Jehovah. But when we make this effort, make the decision, when we make the plan, what did Jehovah go do as he don't see the effort where we they put? Then we open our Bible to Psalm 27, Psalm 28, verse 7, and see what did Jehovah himself talk saying go do. To support us. Psalm 28, verse 7. 
there the Bible talks say, Jehovah and my power and my shield, I go trust them with all my heart. He don't help me, and that one don't make joy fill my heart. So I go praise them with my song. We see the point here. Jehovah go always help us if you put his kingdom first, his worship first, give more time to serve him. Then he go help us. As he don't help this one we don't mention before. I want to find an example if you take from now Apostle Peter and his wife. We know say Apostle Peter he get fish business before Jesus come meet him. But when Jesus come meet him, what did he do? Jesus called and say, Come, they follow me, go preach. What did he do? He live in fish business, he follow him. Why Peter make that decision? Make the Bible answer him for us. We go read Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. Verse 31 to 34. For verse 25, we go see the reason where Jesus give. Then from verse 31 to 34, we go see the instruction where he give us and the promise. Matthew 6, 25. See how the Bible put down. For this reason, I did tell you now, say, make now no worry on our life. About what you now go eat, or waiting on a go drink, or waiting on a go wear for our body. Life no better pass food, and body no better pass clothes. We see the reason there. Here we read 31 to 34, and see the promise we come make. 31 to 34 says, So, make now know the worry, and the talk say, waiting we go chop. Or waiting we go drink, or waiting we go wear. Because now all these things, people of the world, they struggle to get. When our papa forever no say when I need these things. So always they make the kingdom and the rational thing where God wants be number one thing for our life. Then God will add us these other things for now. So make una know the worry about tomorrow because. Tomorrow, get in your own trouble. Each day, get enough trouble. We see the reason there. So, which one is more important? Now, food or not the body? If people they worry, what is that they worry for? Now, to chop and drink. But Jesus' advice here is say, may we know the reason like people of the world, as they struggle for all these things. For me, we the struggle to put the kingdom and in righteous things first for our life. And waiting be the promise, things where they the struggle for, in go help us, make we get them. Now this thing encourage our apostle Peter who will follow Jesus. And no doubt, in wife too, he agree with them, he supports the decision we apostle Peter make. Now he didn't follow him, even assist the congregation, both as they preach and their conduct as well. What about us today? Any example shows, say, people don't put faith for this thing where Jesus talk and he work for them. We get the example of Tiago and Esther. We be husband and wife, where they come from Brazil. As they do, they think, how they feel do more for Jehovah, they make research, and this article will be titled, Their Heart Move Them Go Preach. It really helped them. What did they learn from that? Touch their heart. It make themselves available to do more for Jehovah. Tiago talks, say, When we read the bad servant of Jehovah for our time, where Jehovah don't help, we too won't follow Jehovah's advice and see how. He go help us. And what did they do? For 2014, they moved go Paraguay to go preach. Esther talks, say, 
One Bible verse we will really like now Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Plenty times we don't see, say, waiting there that verse, they help, they happen to us as we do work for Jehovah. True, true. Jehovah don't give them pass waiting them ask for. So say, waiting Jesus talk here, it did really happen for our time. Maybe you don't think now, say, ah, this advice where we they listen to, where Jehovah they tell us, how many two feet benefit from her? Maybe we see the next uh, picture for this article and see what this young couple they do. For the picture we see, say, this young couple go meet this husband and wife. We don't they preach for a long time. We don't get experience. To serve Jehovah. And what did they learn from them? How they don't make themselves available to serve Jehovah, to put his worship, his work as number one for their life. And they want to learn, since they don't trust Jehovah, get faith in them, how it help them. They too they learn from them so that it go help them to make decisions where it go make them available to put the worship of Jehovah as number one in their life. And we want to thank our elders too for different congregations as they, they put body, they, they advise and encourage these young married people to do more for Jehovah. But one thing we say, as we don't arrange them, we plan and we decide, things not going to work as we plan. We could just give up. No, we get one final example too from. Klaus and Marissa. After they don't marry for three years, they go join construction work for Finland branch. As they don't reach there now, they can't tell them, say, ah, now only six months, we now go still. How they come feel? They know they're happy. But small time, another opportunity can't come. They can't invite them to attend one class where they learn Arabic. How Jehovah they help them? Another opportunity open, then go to attend that class where they learn Arabic language, and from there, then go to another country where they speak Arabic language. You ever leave them? No. See what thing Melissa think about what thing happen. He talks saying, "I first the fear to do what I never do before." And he shows, say, I need to trust Jehovah with all my heart. But I don't see how Jehovah don't help us for plenty of ways where we no expect. After this experience, my trust for Jehovah don't strong pass before. They learn from that experience, say, if they trust Jehovah with all their hearts, He will always help them. What about us? If we follow that same advice, Jehovah will always help us to succeed as we do put body to do more for his service. So whether we don't marry for many years, or we just married, or we did plan to marry, we feel see Bible advice where it fit our situation. And we follow that advice from Jehovah and put his worship as number one thing for our life. For our marriage, true, true, we go really enjoy our life, enjoy our marriage now and for future. Our review question says, What thing you learn about why it's good to trust Jehovah from Prophet Isaiah and his wife? We learn, say, husband and wife, he do everything where they fit for Jehovah's work. As they study the Bible, he go move them to do their part for preaching and put the worship of Jehovah as number one in their life. What about Priscilla and Aquila? The example shows say, husband and wife, we live simple life. Make we know a lot problem to hold us back to do more for Jehovah. And those who want marry, if we plan 
to decide, say, they go make their life simple. They go join out together to struggle. We know they know easy, but to struggle to do more for Jehovah. And as Jehovah promised, he go using the Holy Spirit to take help us. What about Apostle Peter and his wife? We learn, say, if we make sacrifice to make the kingdom be number one thing for our life, and if we trust Jehovah's promise, say he go care for us, he no go disappoint us, and we go enjoy our marriage as we deserve Jehovah. So, you do plan to marry, or you just marry, or you don't marry for many years, we get good advice from the Bible, experience from our publications, and many of our brothers and sisters, we don't marry for many years. We can follow this fun example and see how they put body to do more work for Jehovah and we to feed them. As we they make decisions, we should say we trust and get faith in Jehovah and in promises. We get confidence say, he no go leave us and he no go abandon us.